Hi everyone, this is Peter from Peter Tech Channel. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you how I connect to Snowball Edge and transfer data to it. First of all, let's talk about the overview. First, we have to unlock and connect to the Snowball Edge by using the Snowball Edge client. Second, we have to gather all the information necessary for us to connect to the Snowball Edge using AWS CLI. In this case, the information are something like access key and the secret access key as well as a certificate. The third step is to establish connection using the AWS CLI. And the last step is using the list and copy commands. In order to do that, we need some tools and some information. The first two is Snowball Edge Cran. The second one is Snowball Edge Manifest File and the Unlock Code. Also the IP address of the Snowball Edge, which we get it when we connect the Snowball Edge to our LAN or local network. And the fourth item is AWS CLI, which we can download and install. I also have a YouTube video for it. Okay, here is a Snowball Edge that I ordered last week. And this is a job dashboard from the Snowball console. From this console, you can get those information. For example, one, you can get the CRAN from here. As you can see, there are CRANs for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux and you can download it from here. Okay, so when we get the Snowball Cran, then the next step is get the credential. You can click here and then you can get the manifest file and also the key. Okay, you can show on the right side your manifest file and your unlock code. So you have to download the manifest file and then save it. And then once you connect your Snowball A to the network, you will get the IP address. Right, so that step is done. And then we download and we save the manifest file already. You also make a note of your unlock code. So when you download the Snowball A CRAN, I recommend that you first configure a profile. Okay, so we issue the command snowball edge configure. Okay, and then when you issue the command, you will be presented with the information down here. It's gonna say that configuration will store at, you know, your home directory, blah, 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 and then snowball edge config. You're gonna have to provide three information. The first one is the part to the manifest file that you download and the unlock code that you make a note earlier and then your endpoint which is the IP address of your Snowball Edge. Example is down here. You run the Snowball Edge configure. It's gonna tell you that okay the configuration file will be stored here and then you provide the manifest file. You provide the unlock code and you provide the endpoint and that's it. And now you are ready to unlock the Snowball Edge. So you already have the profile configured, so you can run this command Snowball Edge unlock that device. It will unlock the Snowball Edge. Or if you didn't configure the profile, you can use the full command like this Snowball Edge unlock device. You specify the endpoint, the manifest file, and the unlock code. After that, your snowball edge should be unlocked. It's gonna take some time, but you can issue command to check the device status. After it's unlocked, then you can get the access key and the secret access key by issue the command here. First of all, you issue snowball edge list access key. So once you have the access key, you're gonna use the access key in the next command, which is snowball edge get secret access key. 
that that access key ID access key. And after that, you should get both access key and secret access key. Now you have both key that we're gonna use later on. Here is the same example. So in the snowball client bin folder, if you run the snowball edge command with the list access key, you will get the access key, and then you use the access key. The next command, which is the get secret access key, then you're gonna get the secret. Then now you have both access key and the secret access key. Next, the next step is to get the certificate file. You're gonna need this certificate if you want to transfer data securely between the server to the snowball. Okay, so you're gonna issue the command snowball is list certificate. You're gonna have the certificate on, and then you're gonna use the certificate on in the next command, which is snowball is get certificate. Then you're gonna have to create a certificate file from the tech file. You will be present with the certificate information. You're gonna have to copy from the very beginning, which is from here, from the very first dash to the to the last dash. You copy the whole thing, put it in a notepad, and then save it as a .cer file. Now you have all the information necessary, and you have two choices. At this time, okay, there are two methods to transfer file. One is the Amazon S3 adapter, and the other one is the file interface. I decided to use Amazon S3 adapter in my case because I expect that I'm gonna transfer some file larger than 150 gigabyte, which is the limitation that the file interface cannot do. So, I will also recommend that you don't mix the method don't use both S3 adapter with the file interface. You have to use either one of them only. My next step is create the AWS CLI profile using the access key and the secret access key that we got earlier. So this is the command. Okay. AWS configures the, the profile and then profile name. I named the profile as Snowball Edge. Okay, and then you're gonna provide with the secret access key and the access key, and then in the legion, provide the legion that you configure for your um, snowball. After that, now you should be ready to copy the file to your snowball. But first of all, I recommend that you list the bucket name just to see and make sure that you have the bucket that you specify. Um, be, when you order the snowball. So this is the command. It's gonna give you the name of your S3 bucket, which you're gonna use the bucket name when you copy the files to the snowball right here. Okay, and this is the example of how you use the command to list the bucket names in the snowball edge. And if you use the secure method, you specify the port 8443 and the certificate file. You use different port and you don't need the certificate file if you don't use the secure transfer. You can find more information from this link right here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something here and I hope that it is useful for you. If you like this, click like and if you think it benefits someone else please click share if you don't want to miss my next video please subscribe thank you very much for watching